What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller and Her Interactive just added on to one of their web pages on their website and this one I think is going to interest a lot of you, especially those that are either into content creation or that are into selling fan merch. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the Her Interactive website, uh, there is an unsolicited game material page and I covered this in a very early vi er, a video from years ago, but they've added to it now. Oh, whoops, this, uh, this page now... Oh, it's not even found. So uh, let's let's change this here to uh, terms and policy. So they've got a they've got to update that URL link there. This now has her interactive IP and unsolicited material policy. So they've got the whole unsolicited material thing that that was on the unsolicited game material page, but now they've added uh, IP and licensed content policy. Now this is going to be super important going forward. Uh, for people that make content on YouTube, like myself, uh, for people that make content that are that's like fan merchandise, this is going to be super important to pay attention to, and I highly recommend everyone really pay attention and read this and keep this in the back of their heads as they as they go forward here. Her interactive IP and licensed content policy. Our fans are so creative, and we love seeing their personal projects. However. Her Interactive does not allow the use of its intellectual property, or IP, for commercial purposes. Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys are registered trademarks of Simon & Schuster Incorporated. I think there's supposed to be a C in there somewhere. And are used under license and with permission from Simon & Schuster Incorporated. This means that selling videos, fan art, merchandise, books, etc. by using Her Interactive game content, game assets, uh, game logos, etc. is not permitted. So. I don't know, for those that make content that may be heavily inspired by, or inspired by, uh, the artwork that's used in the, in the Nancy Drew games, for those that, you know, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw an example out here, uh, and I, I really hope I, that this person doesn't get in trouble, uh, Kate Drew Designs makes some incredible Nancy Drew stickers. Um, obviously a lot of the designs she uses, all the designs are hand-drawn and you can see that with the brushes that she uses uh, and the, just the detail in general. Um, however, there are a few that do come close to what her interactive's original artwork looked like. I don't know how her interactive will look, you know, approach that, how they will say, okay, this is too close or this is you know, within reason. I, it's really, it's really hard to know for sure. So for those of you that make, you know, products that are very close, you might, you might want to be a little bit careful going forward and just, just, you know, keep a, a, an ear to the ground and see where, where things are going. But this is, this is really, really interesting. The next interesting thing is passive advertising or monetization of playthrough videos via channel supported partner programs such as you tube not 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 one word <laughs> and twitch with passive banner ads is allowed so you are allowed for just so you guys know you are allowed to make nancy drew content on youtube uh, it should follow youtube's uh, monetization's rules, and it should follow these rules as well. So you are allowed to monetize your Nancy Drew content, but it just needs to follow follow the rules based on that. Uh, you may wish to consult an IP attorney for advice or before embarking on a project. This, for those that you know, really want to be careful, uh, and I suggest most people should be careful. You may all, it may be good to look into this. Um, either way, this is now officially on their website. And again, I don't know how to how to actually reach this without clicking on this, because all I did to find this page was I went to sitemap.xml, and under page sitemap, uh, the last modified page was terms and policies, and that's how I found this page. Um, so I assume that they're going to be updating this soon with with this link here, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, just so you guys know, this page does exist, and these rules are now officially in place. So if you want to go have a look and really reevaluate your content in some way, I would highly recommend doing so. I think it'd be a good thing to to just just you know take a look at and be sure that you're not breaking rules. Um, and that's about it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, found use out of this video. 
And uh, to those that make content, I wish you the best of luck. Not that you're in any trouble, um, but I, I really hope that you are able to continue to make content under these new rules. So thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Have a good day.